Ladies and gentlemen, stats and chats coming at you with a GTA 4 remastered gameplay mod. And I mean, check this out, bro. This mod, this gameplay, it's not all about like the rains, the puddles, the extra water reflections. It really looks like a real remaster. They recently though, Rockstar Games and Remedy, they confirmed the fact that Max Payne 1 and 2 remakes are happening. I, I mean, a lot of people are really excited for that. A lot of people are like, hey man, why, why another remake? Uh, I, I want to know, like, you ex you excited for that, or would you want it Max Payne 3 remake, or did did you want GTA 4? I personally would love to get GTA 4 remaster, and there are a lot of leaks going around that suggest that it's gonna happen in 2023. But I'm not sure though. You know what I mean, right? Uh, be because a lot of people in the comments are saying, "My guy, these guys should be the real, the actual devs out there," because. They're making crazy stuff happen. Could you imagine uh, one day when we get GTA 4 Remaster and it actually looks like GTA, <laughs> GTA Trilogy? You, you, have you seen Nico Bellic in that GTA Trilogy? I'll put like a picture on the screen somewhere here. I mean, damn, right? Like, if Nico Bellic really looks like that, it's just game over. <laughs> Part of me kind of want to see that. Uh, now, hold up. Wait a minute, okay? Don't cancel me on Twitter just yet. Don't be like, yo, Skizzle, how dare you actually say that? I don't want to see that. Like, let me make that one thing for, for real, okay? Let me keep a buck 50. But the... But if that ever happens, man, I would love to see the Twitter response. I would love to see the Twitter streets, the Facebook streets, especially the Reddit. The stocks would be booming, man. If they really butchered this remaster, it gonna be bad. But damn, man. Oi, hoi, hoi. Ai, hi, hi. Ai, hi, hi. Check this out. Like, my god. The, the one thing that I really, really wanted to see in GTA 4 was pl uh, flying planes. Uh, we don't have that, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But would you say devs, actual devs that are working at Rockstar Games, do a better job or would you say mods do a better job? Uh, easy skizzle, it's the mods that actually make the best work. No doubt, my god, listen man, this is a beautiful mod, damn bro. Look at those buildings, look at the details, god damn bro. Like, smash the like button if that looks beautiful out there. But listen man, mods, 100%, modders are really doing a phenomenal job, okay? Nobody's gonna deny that. But at the end of the day, man, Rockstar is the one to make a game, right? They, they are the ones to make this game in the first place. So if this game was not out there, we wouldn't have mods on it, right? Who came first, right? Chicken or egg? That's basically the same situation. But damn, bro, the streets looking beautiful. Though. If if a person never played GTA 4 or GTA 5 and they're hyped for GTA 6, and you showed this gameplay to them, they would be like, yo, my god, like, uh, Sernando is not the only guy to have GTA 6 early. I have it early too, okay? That's what they're gonna say, my man. That's crazy. Oi, 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 damn. Yeah, man, we, we got GTA Trilogy for the billionth time, but I recently finished the, the single player. I believe that was my second time finishing GTA 5. How many times you have played GTA 5? Uh, I mean, in, in terms of story, right? Like, how many times you completed the story? You probably played it, like, a billion times, like, duh. But I, I, I finished the story for the second time, and that game still holds up. And the variety that we get in the cars, uh, that Eagles variety, is actually there in the remastered version on PS5, Series X, and uh, maybe not on PC. Uh, but I'm not sure about the PC, man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get the PC community all riled up. Like, how dare you say that, Skizzle? Uh, but, but, man, listen, this is looking beautiful. Look at that bridge. I really wanna be downloading all these mods. There's like a video, uh, I have to see, I have not watched, but there's a title I read. I might do a reaction video on that. Somebody actually said that they installed 50 mods. I'm not even sure if that's possible. If you're a PC masterist, if you got RTX 40 billion, you, you beat the guy, man. You let me know if that's possible or not. But damn, son. Look at that. The modders are just doing a phenomenal job. It's If I showed that to my babushka, but the babushka would be like, that is uh, real life. What do you mean, man? That is not fake. That is not a video game. That is real. If I showed that, especially to the Nico Bellix babushka, Nico Bellic babushka won't be even able to believe, okay? That's just not happening. And look at that. Yellow card, the cabs. The saturation, the colors, mm, the colors, oi, 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 like, look at that, damn, bro, looks amazing, bro. especially the braking light, when you put, uh, when you apply that brake, yeah, I ain't a sim, but I'm a sim for this one, though, what? GTA 4 has a special place in my heart, now, I wanna know which one do you prefer, GTA 4 or GTA 5, 
in terms of story, okay? Now, this one, it's a hard question. Now, personally, I'm a massive GTA fan, so I love the story in GTA 4. I love the story in GTA 5. Both of them are unique. Both of them are different. It, GTA 4, only one protagonist. GTA 5, you got three protagonists. And let's be real, GTA 5, it's an all-rounder. GTA 5, massive city. Massive cities, I should say. There's, like, desert, uh, desert area. There's... You cannot beat GTA 5, okay? From a technical standpoint, that game still holds up. I, I can say this game still holds up as well, but we're watching a mod, right? This is a mod. This is not, like, actual GTA 4. The graphics of GTA 4, I mean, they're not crazy bad, but they're like, eh, you know what I mean, right? When you, Especially when you see that this mod, it's gonna be really hard for you to go back on the, the normal GTA 4. Maybe not that much if you are playing on PC. Uh, I mean, there are a whole lot of issues on PC, but graphically speaking or textures wise, it's actually pretty neat, pretty neat on PC. But I would, I like both, but I'll tell you what, man, story-wise, I'll go with GTA 4. Gameplay and everything else, I would go with GTA 5. GTA 5 gives you so much variety and uh, so much different options. I know we're all sick and tired. I know this is not a popular take. This is probably a controversial take. Uh, I might get canceled for saying this because now everybody's wanting GTA 6, myself included. But GTA, GTA 6, when is it gonna happen? 2023, 2024? Uh, I believe Tesfun, who's a reputable leaker, he says he's now thinking G 2024. That's what he's thinking. But he said that it was initially planned for 2023 back in 2020, early 2020. They were planning to release that uh, late 2023. I really hope that's true, man. And they just came out early 2022. So a year after, they confirmed it, that it's happening. Uh, and normally Rockstar, they take two years to drop a game, right? They reveal it. Uh, they announced it, they announced it, but we still haven't seen any, like, a uh, big quote-unquote, like, that Rockstar logo tweet. Normally, we get that Rockstar logo tweet, right? You remember Red Dead Redemption 2 when how they revealed it? You remember GTA 5? We're probably gonna see a Twitter post, another one, maybe with a Rockstar logo. Then we're probably gonna see, I hope, the next tweet they drop about GTA 6 is just like, Hey, guys. Uh, tune in next week to see the reveal of GTA 6. I really hope that's what they do. I, I really hope they don't come out tomorrow and be like, uh, uh, here's a tweet, GTA 6 is getting revealed soon. And then like a year after, that's when they drop. I mean, anything at this point would be, would be, I'm down for anything, right? But, but you know what I mean, right? Like I, I, I rather just see their next tweet in like a couple of months from now. And they're like, yeah, man, next week in two days from now, even better if it's two days. In two days from now, yo, we're gonna reveal GTA 6. Yo, get, get your ass in here, man. We got this premiere coming up. We're gonna reveal the trailer. But knowing Rockstar, man, they're likely just gonna drop a 30 second teaser and call it a trailer. You know what I'm saying? They're probably gonna be like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, 30 seconds of worldwide full 4K 60 FPS reveal. I mean, at this point, I guess we're all dying to see a new one. We all wanna see a new game. We all wanna see GTA 6. So even if it's 30 seconds, I ain't complaining, even though I just kind of complained, but that's not complaining, okay? This might be complaining, this might be considered. What I just did, this might be considered complaining in the year 2022. But listen, back in my days, you go back five years, you go back 10 years, it was not considered complaining, okay? It seriously was not, man. But nowadays, you say some of the smallest stuff and it, it's, it can be considered as you complaining. But listen, man, what I'm trying to say, all what I'm trying to say, it's looking beautiful, bro. Like, damn, bro. Look at that. Look at that. God damn. The, 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 the cars, the NPCs. I really wish uh, Cyberpunk had this amount of NPCs, man. Even after that next-gen upgrade, it still don't, man. But click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.